Recently, I spent over 100 hours training the agility skill. My method of choice? The Hollowed Sepulchre. At the end of this minigame, there is a grand coffin which you can loot for a 1 in 200 chance at the Ring of Endurance. Currently, the Ring of Endurance is selling for 28 million GP, and what this ring does is it does make it so your stamina doses last twice as long, and when you do sip the stamina potion, it will give you 40% of your run back instead of 20. It also will passively reduce the run energy drain by 15%. All right, guys, I totally had this idea to record these roughly 200 something chests into it. So it's not going to be the entire uh, 92 to 99 grind. It's going to be a little bit over half of that. And for that, I apologize and uh, a little upset with myself. I don't know how many chests we did in total, but sit back, relax, and I will have a count for you at the end of the video. Oh my god, there's 236 clips in this folder. I regret this already. Little rune to H sword action, very average. Um, I still do not have a ring, so we'll get the little C engineer whenever that happens. But um, yeah, I will see you after a million more chests. That's number 300, still no ring, but the normal loot is racking up. All in all, each one of these runs took me about six and a half minutes on average. Uh, some were a little bit below six minutes, some were at seven and slightly above. Every once in a while, I was really out of it, and one of these would take me like almost the full 10 minutes allotted, but uh, I think that only happened three or four times. During this, you're not going to see any of the runeite items. You get a lot of rune two H swords and rune plate bodies during the grind here, but I did bank those in between runs along with the sand few potions, sand few serums, just because they do take up so much room in your inventory. I didn't want the rune items to weigh me down, and if I kept all the sand fuse and all the monk fish that you get, my inventory would just be full of the brim, and I'd be leaving tons of stuff on the floor. Instead of that, I did bank them all, so we will have all of the rune items and all of the monkfish at the end. At this point, if you are looking at the chest kill count or chest open count, you can tell that I'm very dry in the ring. It is one out of 200. I am nearing two times the rate. Pretty discouraged on getting it, and I'm really not expecting it anytime soon or at all. I do love the Spulker. I think it's the best skilling content in the game. But after 99, I really don't want to have to do any more. If you look at the wiki rates, I I don't have it in front of me, but it was like two to three mil per hour for cash just based on getting the ring. But I am definitely way below that just because, you know, I haven't gotten any of the rings and we're just getting all of the standard loot. Pretty sure they just saved. Finally got the ring. Oh, oh shit. Hell yeah. Almost. Right, so you're, right. you're never going back, right? All right, so I know I got the ring just uh, two chests ago, but I am now officially dry again. 401 chests open.
So I skipped ahead 50 chests here. I, I'm pretty sure most of you are tired of just watching the chest open at this point. Anyways, uh, this isn't really too much of a spoiler. I already put this in another video. Reusing a clip, sue me. Anyways, we did get a ring just shy of 400. The clip is cut in half because I was fully not expecting to get it after almost 400 chests open. So I just instinctively cut the clip so that it wouldn't be too long and I'd be able to use it a little bit easier when I'm making this video but there it is we got the ring our GP per hour just skyrocketed even though we're gonna be dry in three more chests anyways I think it's about time to wrap this whole thing up, pull everything out of the bank and get you guys a price check and the very last chest since uh, you know less than 5k experience to 99 and then we're going to head right out of here And that is 99 agility. The worst skill in the game is complete. All right, so my total chest count by the end of this video was 448. The last clip didn't record the chest, but I went back and did all of the science and the math on it. Anyways, uh, there was 219 chests in this video and in this loot stack in my inventory. And honestly, the loot stack looks pretty pitiful but this is what we are left with. Really quick, let me just throw this into the thingamajig, and there we go, 35 mil on what took, uh, you know, we did about half the chests, and it was about 100 hours for all of the chests, so in 50 hours, we got 35 mil. That's less than a mil per hour. That's less than half of what the wiki says we should be getting, and that is pretty damn miserable. The wiki has the Sepulchre at 2 million GP per hour, obviously massively weighted by the Ring of Endurance, but I think I found what is wrong with this picture. If we look, uh, let me pull this guy over here. Uh, if we pull that over, this assumes that the player is looting all chests on floor four and five. Um, I didn't do this. I only looted the Grand Coffin. I didn't loot any of the other chests for this video, which is why my GP per hour was probably so much less than it should have been. We did go dry on the ring, which hurt it a little bit, but for 219 pulls, one ring is slightly less than average, so that didn't really hurt it too bad. Where we really missed out was just on the bulk of this other stuff that we wouldn't have gotten otherwise. Also not included in my price check was the hollowed marks. Um, so if we take those into account like this is, we might have actually done a little bit better. Let me calculate that up really quick and see what we're actually at. I changed my mind. We're not going to do that. I actually couldn't find out why they are giving those hallowed marks a value. If you know, let me know in the comment section below. I went through the store. I couldn't find anything that was resellable on the Grand Exchange or anything like that. So to me, a mark is just a mark. And anyways, I'm not selling those. I'm going to be using those to unlock the collection log slots anyways in a later collection log video. So that's not really pertinent to this, I guess. But uh, if we did include those, I think that would add like three mil to our total uh, if my quick head math is correct on that. So it's not really going to alter too much. Anyways, we're still well below half of what the wiki rate would be. Anyways, should you be doing the Hell of Sepulchre? I think you absolutely should. It is actually a lot of fun once you get to the final floor, learning all the traps, getting better, trying to improve on your time. It's great content uh, for GP. There's way better methods. This is kind of just a little bonus at the end. I would not expect to get all too much from this. I, I am. A, you should expect double this. Basically, that you should expect to get two to three rings when getting 99. That's about it. But I do recommend you don't loot the chest. I don't think it's personally worth it. Maybe just that last one because it gives you the double loot roll and then the grand coffin. Uh, but personally, I think the XP per hour that you would waste by doing that over the full course of time is going to lead to being several hours at the end of the grind. And I don't think that that is worth it. If you're an Iron Man or if you're really strapped for cash, have at it. You play the game the way you want to play it. You do you. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like the video, like the video. If you didn't like the video, also just like the video. Anyway, subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one.